let's learn how to track a piece of footage and add an animated character right into that world. Tip -tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at how to motion capture or motion track, sorry, some footage and then add an animated character so it looks like they're in that world. As you can see here, I recorded this footage outside my house. It was raining and the leaves were blowing all about on this bush and I thought it might be a good chance to add a little kind of Picori character um, to one of the leaves. So there are two steps to doing this kind of process. One is the getting and tracking of the footage and the other is the animating of the character. I won't be going through the animating of the character in this tutorial. I've got plenty of animation tutorials um, if you would like to check those out. And also if you wanted to see how I got the shading style of this character here um, all in Adobe Animate, then you can check out my three ways to do shading tutorial, which I'll link in the uh, top right right now. So it lags out a little bit because there's some quite good post processing going on here. But as you can see, we have our character in isolation, his full animation. And I've just exported that as a video to bring into After Effects where we'll be doing all of this tutorial. So the first step is to track your footage. OK, so I have a piece of footage here. As you can see, this is my um, leaf footage that we've got going on. Uh, it's just a few seconds long and we need to create a new composition from that footage. So I'm going to right click it and choose new comp from selection. And that will drop this footage into a new composition for us. I'm going to trim it down a little bit because I don't need the whole thing. So I'm going to press B there and then N to close off that footage. Then I'm going to right click the time ruler and just choose trim comp to work area. And that gives us just a few seconds to work with, which is great. Now we're going to be using an effect called Mocha AE, which is actually a separate piece of software that comes free with After Effects. So if you go to your effects and presets panel and type in Mocha, the effect that comes that you want is Mocha AE. Just drag that down onto your footage here. And in your effects controls panel, just click the big Mocha button to open up the Mocha software. Now, <clears throat> this is a slightly different um, workflow to tracking in After Effects. You're going to want to navigate this um, workspace here. You can hold Z and click and drag to zoom in and out. Hold X and click and drag to pan around. OK, so on your piece of footage, you want to find a nice stable shape that doesn't change too much. For example, here I have this twig that if I press play, you'll see remains in frame for the entire shot and isn't overlapping anything too much. We're going to use that to track and pin our character to. I'm going to go up to this X spline rectangle tool, create rectangular X spline up here. And I'm just going to click and drag a box over a portion of the footage that includes a little bit of the background that I think <clears throat> will track quite well because it is constant. It has a clean background and the motion is going to be really easy to follow. So you want to then click this track forward button down here. And as you can see, it will start to analyze this footage and track it all the way through uh, following this shape. If you get any errors um, for perhaps, for example, this leaf might um, mess up one of the corners, you can press space bar to stop your track and you can tweak any of these corners um, back into the position that you want. But this seems pretty good for me. So I'm just going to keep going until this is fully tracked. And then once it is, we'll come back. OK, so as you can see, we have our fully tracked footage here. We have our rectangle that is attached to our uh, branch and just pressing spacebar lets you um, scrub back and forth through the footage. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to hit Control S to save and then we're going to close Mocha down. Now, what that gives you is uh, underneath your tracking data in the effects controls panel, you now have a option to create track data if you click that button and choose the name of the layer that was in Mocha AE. We're only going to have one layer because we've only done one track. Just click OK, and that's going to create these five points from your rectangle, which are then tracked to the branch in your footage, OK, which is fantastic. Now, the next step is to uh, give up something in After Effects that After Effects understands to track to this point. So we're going to use a null object to do that. Control Shift Alt and Y will give you a new null object and clicking on your footage and choosing the export option transform and layer export to null and then clicking ex apply export will push that null object to the center of your tracked data. And then if you press spacebar, you'll see that your um, null object follows your tracked data around, which is fantastic. Now, from Adobe Animate, I took my exported animation, this finished um, animation here of this character, and I exported it as a movie file. And we're just going to bring that .mov into After Effects now. Let's pop that on top of the null object like so. I'm going to scale it down to about 60%. He's a bit big at the moment. And we'll pop him on top of the leaf. 
And there is a point here where I animated, um, or I didn't draw rather, the uh, fingers on his hand. So we're just going to change the anchor point with the pan behind tool to be there. And then with the move tool, we're just going to plonk it like so, so that his hand is attached to the twig like that. Okay. Now we're going to right click on our footage because it's not quite long enough. You notice it's not long enough to do the entire um, timeline here. So we're going to right click, choose time and enable time remapping. If we then alt click on the blue stopwatch, that gives us our coding window and I can type in loop out open and close parentheses, semicolon. This allows me to extend my footage and the little animation will loop over and over and over again, okay? Back on the first frame, I'm just gonna grab this footage here. I'm gonna grab my pick whip tool and I'm gonna drag it over to the null object. And this ties the position, rotation and scale of this layer here to the position, rotation and scale of our null object, which is following the tracked data from Mocha AE. So if I now press spacebar, my character is attached to that leaf. Now, there's a few things we can do to make this look a little bit more realistic. So let's jump right into them. First of all, we want him to have his ear hidden behind this twig. So we're gonna create a new shape layer, like so. We're going to click over the ear and just create ourselves a little shape. You can do this with a mask, you can do it with a shape layer, doesn't matter how you do it. I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur to this shape, maybe six pixels. That gives us a nice blurred edge, which kind of follows the edge of the twig. And we'll just push that into position. I'm going to then take my animated character footage test.mov and I'm going to choose the track mat to be alpha inverted shape layer one, which will cut away his ear and make it look like it is behind the twig. Let's rename this to ear mask. Now at the moment, this ear mask is going to stay in one place, which is no good. So we want that to also follow our null object. So we're just going to pick whip that over to the null object as well, which means that as it moves, it follows the null. Now you notice here his ear animates. So what we need to do is take our ear mask and we need to just drag these points with the pen tool and we're just going to move them downwards. We'll do the same thing with this one as well. And then that looks pretty good. We'll just wait for the full loop of his ears so we know that it looks good on every frame, which it does because those flip past the mask on the branch here. And that looks pretty good for the whole animation, which is great. Uh, the final step then is to um, add a shadow underneath his arm where it grasps the branch here. So it looks a bit more realistic and do the same thing for his legs and the staff as well. So with a new shape layer, just with nothing selected, I'm just going to come under and I'm going to draw myself a little semicircle under his arm. And again, there's a million ways you could do this. I'm just going to be using the shape layer technique. Let's do the same thing here as well for his feet this foot as well, and these are all drawn on the same shape layer. And we'll do the same thing for his staff too, okay? Like so. Let's grab all of these, we'll apply the same Gaussian blur. This time let's do about, oh, I don't know, 15 pixels to give us nice soft edges here. We'll drag these below our animated character footage layer, and we will press T to reduce the opacity down to about, let's say, 30%. Okay, that's looking okay, but let's do a little bit more of a blur, let's say 30 pixels, and then let's crank it up to about 40%. And then we get these nice, hard, um, but subtle shadows. Again, we will rename this layer Shadow, and we will pick whip that layer to the null object here. And the final step is to toggle your switches and modes, turn on motion blur for all layers uh, up in the top palette, and then for all of these layers here, you want to turn them on. It doesn't matter if you do it really for the footage, you can leave that one off because obviously the footage itself isn't moving within the After Effects composition. But um, we can now pre-render this and check our footage. The final thing that I'm going to do because this footage hasn't been color corrected is a quick bit of color correction. So Control alt y will give us a new adjustment layer and I can go up here and type in my effects and presets or I have a um, shortcut which allows me a plugin which allows me to do it quicker. Control plus space with um, Video Copilot's FX console brings up a floating window of the effects and presets panel, does exactly the same thing. I'm gonna type in auto, add an auto color. We'll type in auto again, add an auto contrast. We'll type in auto again, and we'll add an automatic levels. But I want to make sure that I am contrasting and leveling before I color, which gives us a nice effect like so. It also applies it to the character too. It does make our shadows a little bit heavy, so let's drop them down about 5%. 
pre-render our footage and see what we got. Okay, and there you have it. Here is our character firmly seated on his leaf, looking out over the world. Um, and that's a great way to integrate animated characters into real life footage. Track the footage, add the character on, mask out the bits you don't want. Job done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff that YouTube makes me do. And I'll see you next time for another episode of TipTar. My lovely members are what make this channel possible and keep it going, so I would like to thank all of them, but specifically this week, let's go for Ralika M, Jeremy Stewart, Tim Fitzgerald, and Azia Razzly Razzly. Love you all. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.